The fanfare at this march may be jovial, but the causes behind it much less so. Anti-government demonstrations drawing hundreds continued in Haiti on Wednesday. Though the protests have lost momentum over the past couple of weeks, these protesters insist they'll keep at it until President Jovenel Moise steps down. We can't suffer any longer. There are no roads, hospitals or water. There's nothing. Everything's blocked in this country. It's unacceptable. That's why we're here. We're going to protest every day. I'm in the streets because those of us from the so-called Demet Ghetto are suffering like the rest of the country. We're staying in the streets because President Jovenel Moise has to go. He doesn't get anything done. The Western Hemisphere's poorest nation, Haiti has been rocked by anti-government protests for the past two months. Originally sparked by fuel shortages, they've since spiraled into a more general expression of anger about Jovenel Moise's presidency, rampant corruption, and a deteriorating economy. The demonstrations have sent the country into a near total state of paralysis. Many hospitals, schools, businesses, and even courts have come to a standstill, and security forces have responded with violence. On Monday, at least four people were reportedly shot and wounded at small protests in Port-au-Prince, following the president's speech for the anniversary of a key battle of the Haitian Revolution. And on Tuesday, five people, including a 15-year-old girl, were killed in another round of demonstrations, bringing the total number of casualties from the ongoing protests to well over 40.